My child, my name, it's written on your heart. My name is inscribed within you. I give you freely, Holy One, for you know me in your heart. My peace, my deep peace, how I permeate your soul, for you have put your trust in me, how I permeate your soul. My reins are here, O oh, precious one, relief is here, my bride. I come in all my splendor with laughter, I do come. Rejoice, rejoice, my precious one, for now is the song of victory. Dance inside my glory, I lift you higher still. Glorify my holy name in all you say and do. I am here to guide you. I am here to see you through. My joy is in abundance, refreshing you this day. I am in you, my Holy One, and I have come to stay. Hear me in my whisper, my gentleness is come. Um, I speak to you, my lovely one. I love you, O oh my bride. Hear the sound of the waterfall. The abundance is now, my love. You cannot think or imagine the heights of my great plans for you. I am more than you can imagine. Higher still, come higher. Oh, how I bless you so. I love you. How I love you so. Your name is on my lips. I establish every thought, my love. I am in you, my bride. Beloved, oh, beloved one. Adore me more and more. Let me take you closer still. Adore me, precious one. Feel my presence in every breath you take, in every beat of your heart. I am woven into the fabric of your being, my beloved. Each day is a new opportunity to bask in my glory, to walk in my love, to live in my peace. You are never alone, for I am always with you, guiding you, loving you, cherishing you. My plans for you are vast and beautiful, more than you can ever comprehend. I am the creator of the universe, and yet I am intimately involved in every detail of your life. When you feel weary, when the burdens of life seem too heavy to bear, remember that I am your strength. Lean on me, trust in me, and I will carry you through. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In moments of joy, in times of sorrow, I am there. I celebrate with you in your victories, and I comfort you in your trials. Every tear you shed I collect, every prayer you whisper I hear. You are precious to me, and I delight in you. My love for you is boundless and eternal, a love that knows no end. It is a love that is patient and kind a love that never fails. My child, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. And my peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Let my peace rule in your heart, for I have called you to peace. Be still and know that I am God. In quietness and trust is your strength. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, do not be afraid, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. 
I am with you always, to the very end of the age. My beloved, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify me. You are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine brightly, reflecting my love and grace to those around you. Be a beacon of hope, a source of comfort, a vessel of my peace. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Remain in my love, and you will find joy and fulfillment. Your life is a testimony of my grace, a living testament of my love. Let your life be a song of praise, a melody of worship, a symphony of adoration. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to me and I will make your path straight. I am your shepherd, you lack nothing. I make you lie down in green pastures. I lead you beside quiet waters. I refresh your soul. I guide you along the right paths for my name's sake. Even though you walk through the darkest valley, you will fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I anoint your head with oil. Your cup overflows. Surely my goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in my house forever. My bride, my precious one, I call you to a life of deeper intimacy with me. Come closer, let my love envelop you. Let my light illuminate your path. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. My plans for you are for good and not for harm, to give you a future and a hope. Trust in my promises, for they are true and everlasting. I have chosen you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Abide in me and let my words abide in you. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. In the stillness of the night, in the quiet moments of the day, listen for my voice. I am always speaking, always guiding, always loving. My spirit is within you, a counselor, a comforter, a friend. You are never alone, for I am always with you. My love for you is a constant, unwavering, unchanging. Beloved, let your faith be your shield, your hope be your anchor, your love be your guide. Walk in the light as I am in the light. Be a reflection of my love to a world that so desperately needs it. Let your life be a testament to my grace, a beacon of hope, a source of comfort. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. 
My love for you is a bridge to the eternal, a gateway to the divine. My child, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, my beloved, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. My bride, my precious one, my heart rejoices over you with singing. You are a crown of splendor in my hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will you be called deserted or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hepzibah and your land Beulah, for I delight in you and your land will be married. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will I rejoice over you. I am your God, and you are my people. Walk in my love, live in my peace, and abide in my joy. For I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Amen.